Hi, the purpose of this video is to show you how to correctly enter scientific notation into a TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. One of the common mistakes that I see students making is how they're typing just simple calculations into their calculator and it results in them losing marks, not because they don't know what they're doing from, you know, for example, a physics perspective, but just because they're making mistakes with the calculator. So in this particular example, I'm going to show you how to enter in 5.37 times 10 to the 6 multiplied by 1.22 times 10 to the negative 31. The big thing that I want to point out is that at no point should you be using this button, which sometimes I know people call it the roof symbol or the hat symbol. It's what raises up um, things to powers for you on these calculators. And you also don't want to use this right above the log button. Uh, if you want second function, it says 10 to the x. Those are two of the common ones that I know I've seen students use because they think it's correct in order to be able to enter numbers that way. Definitely not the 10 to the x because you're basically doing inverse logarithms there. And if you use the hat symbol, if you want to call it that, multiplying by 10 and then raising it to the power of something, the problem is that your calculator is going to treat it like two separate numbers for order of operations, good old bed mass, and that's going to potentially screw up your answer. I know a lot of times people tell me that they just put brackets around everything and they think that'll make it okay, but the problem is if you miss a bracket someplace, you're either going to get a go-to error or worse, uh, it's still going to be a valid calculation and your calculator shows you an incorrect answer. So the first part's the easiest. I'm just going to type in 4.37 like I normally would, but now when I'm ready to do the uh, scientific notation part, I first click the uh, second button because I do want to go into second function. And then right here above the 7 button, it's a button that has a comma on it, uh, the second function of it is EE. And that's the part that goes into scientific notation. As soon as I click that button, on the display I get a capitalized E. The calculator knows that I'm doing scientific notation. I don't have to hit the multiplication button, I don't have to type in 10. The calculator is already doing that in the background for me. The E means times 10 to the whatever I type in next. It also means that the calculator knows that whatever I'm about to put in is just part of scientific notation for this number and it'll treat it as a number. So now I just type in the 6. So on the display it shows 5.37 times 10 to the 6. Now I want to multiply this by 1.22 times 10 to the negative 31. So I get to hit the multiplication button for the first time because I am truly multiplying some numbers. I type in the 1.22 and now again, to type in the scientific notation, I hit second function and the EE button. Now here's the part we got to be careful about. This number is times 10 to the negative 31. And quite often I'll see people hit this button in order to make it a negative value. The problem with that is this button is actually for doing subtraction. It's the actual mathematical operator of doing subtraction. And I don't want to do that. I want to put in a negative value, which means I should be using this button, which so shows a negative sign inside brackets. That tells the calculator that I am doing a negative number, and in this case, to the power of negative 31. Now I can hit enter, and the answer on my display comes up as 6.5514 times 10 to the negative 25. On the calculator, it shows as E negative 25, but that means times 10 to the negative 25. Now if I was being really picky and I was paying attention to something like sig digs, I would notice that the two numbers that I started with each have three sig digs. The scientific notation part doesn't mean anything there. So all I would do here is say, that's a three sig dig number, that's a three sig dig number. I should really be rounding this off to three sig digs also, so that I would have a final answer of 6.55 times 10 to the negative 25. Hope that helps you out.